Bonjour! My name is Abomination and welcome back to the BHDL. This is the, this is the semi-finals against Scorpion. <sighs> we faced him in week 8. And we took a 1-0 loss with his last guy being at 2-2 two, two HP. So, almost the closest thing you could ever have. Last time, I brought a very hyper-offensive team to try to confuse his, his way of thinking. <clears throat> this time, I am going back to my regular kind of half-and-half... I mean, everything's bulky, except for Jolteon and Chinchino, but, like, my half and half. There is something, though, on my team. <sighs> I had a specific Pokemon that it was asked of me to bring it. A special request to bring one of my Pokemon. Um... Now, normally, obviously, I wouldn't just, for the semi-final match, I wouldn't just, uh do that so easily but I did look into this into this Pokemon and it actually is pretty decent into his team otherwise I wasn't gonna do it but uh, the person who asked me isn't I, I it's, uh, yeah, uh, um, yeah it was worth considering their request. <sighs> I don't know why. Uh, it shouldn't screw me over, and even if this Pokemon does nothing, I don't really... I'm not blaming... I'm not gonna fault it, because I did think that it has a good... a good matchup, actually, into his team. Um, for those of you who pay attention, you probably know exactly what it is. Let's search for this, alright? Now, all I want is a good game. Again, same as last week. Yes. That means no. Uh, no, win or lose. All I want is a good game. No clef keys. Oh, oh my god. I thought there was a chance he wasn't going to bring Ting Lu, and oh my god, he actually just decided to not bring Ting Lu. Uh, but Zapdos is still here, which had to happen 100%. But he brought Primeape and Mimikyu instead of Ting Lu and something else. <laughs> but of course, Palafin is here. <clears throat> Cyclozar is not here, so Stealth Rocks are here to stay as soon as they uh, hit the field. He is probably going to try to hazard stack me with Ogre Pond and his two ghost types, or it once Primate Terrasalize, as it will be anyway. Um, I think uh, Shusanki lead is fine. Uh, yeah, I think Shusanki as a lead is perfectly fine by me. <clears throat> My win condition is Remore for sure. I just need to break the disguise on Mimikyu, and then a plus one Earthquake will do a lot of damage to it. I don't think it's a KO. But it could be. He gets go He's gonna lead with Zapdos. This is good. You wanna know why this is good? Because I can just smack the item off of this Zapdos, so that's all I wanna do. Uh because I wanna be able to punish it for coming in on stealth rocks. So yeah, knock off. This is this is what I wanted to use knockoff on, is this Zapdos. Um we'll see if it's if it's specs or something, but I want it to be heavy duty boots. He could bolt switch as well. I do have a ground type, but you know, it's it's it, it would be risky to come in with. <clears throat> he goes for hurricane straight up. 
Specs. No question in my mind. That is Specs, and there it goes. Um, so yeah, that hurt, but at least I know this thing is not going to be defensive for my Great Tusk, right? That's the good news. The bad news is, he can probably kill me with the Thunder, uh, electric move. Thunderbolt. Doesn't really matter what it is, but the good news is Vodakin can just come in here. Uh, it could be U-turn. I could just bring Vodakin in. There's, there's, it doesn't, it's not going to hurt me too much to do this, so... Uh, and he'll be forced to switch. Without Ting Lu, though, I can Volt Switch all day with Vodakin. That's also great news. So honestly, you know what? I don't need Yusanki alive, because I'm not going to be able to recover in front of anything anyway. So in case he decides to do something stupid, I'm going to Moonlight. I could have switched to Vodakin there. But it's nice to know again that he's Volt Switch and not uh, U Turn. It's debatable whether I, I assume he wins that matchup because all I did was smack his item off. So yeah, he he wins the the lead, but that's okay. We're gonna get a matchup here, which is gonna be good. It's most likely gonna be Vodakin because Vodakin is free as hell against his entire team uh, to just Volt Switch and do whatever I, uh, uh, he wants. But losing that early does suck, I will admit that. This is going to be Palfin. Huh. It is Palfin, so yeah, Vodakin comes in here. There's no way I'm not. Palfin's going to get his little thing, but that's okay. Um... I... I just... I think I... Volt Switch. I do. I do just Volt Switch. There's nothing that wants to take it. I'm just gonna Volt Switch. <coughs> I'll be surprised if he stays in, because that's risky. Uh, if he does, he Scarf and hits me with like a Wave Crash or something. Uh, Last time he was a special set, I do not expect him to be special again. I expect that annoying thing to be uh, physical. So here comes Primate. This is fine. I just Volt Switch. <clears throat> yeah, that's perfectly... That's, this is fine. Because then I just come in with Tergerdo. Did I spell that wrong? Tergerdo? No, I didn't. Tergerdo and... Uh, I can hit this thing as hard as I can. It's not going to hurt me too much in return. But at the same time, there is still a Zapdos, so I, I can't really freely do it. Uh, I could also come in with Electric. He does have a Rage Fist boost. I can Thunder Wave this, but honestly, Terragirdo is fine. Terragirdo is fine. <coughs> Uh, I need to Stealth Rocks on the field as soon as possible. Zapdos is not injured enough. But Zapdos coming in, like... I, I mean, it's fine if it does, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and risk Zapdos coming in. It's not that big of a deal. I can just go bot again afterwards. So yeah, oh, Earthquake. Show me what you can do. I got Chip on this thing, so if he just, if he just wants to switch, that's fine by me. <coughs> Primeape is cool. I like Primeape. It's I like how it's good now. It's like it is. He doesn't have a Terra type that resists this at all. Did he really just? Don't tell me he just. No, he didn't. Okay. <laughs> he goes into Mimi Q. We're gonna hit it with an earthquake. <laughs> is it something weird, like a red card? No, it's not. He just. He just uses the disguise right up. Straight up. Uh, we can take a hit from this, but, you know, it's not gonna do too much in return, but, you know what? 
because, like, our game plan is to use Dragonite to handle this, but at the same time, I don't want him to Swords Dance in front of me, all willy-nilly. I know I could take a hit from this. I just, I just don't know if it's... It's not that bad, actually. Show me what you got. You know what? Show me what you got, Mimikyu. Earthquake! Enjoy my citrus berry. What are you giving me, though? I'm fine with a scarf or a band. What about a scarf? I'm fine with this scarf. I am fine with this scarf. Okay, we're gonna kill Mimikyu straight up, but I'm perfectly fine with that choice scarf. I am perfectly fine with that. He was not expecting me to stay in, but I was... The only reason why I'm not scarf is so I can be at 75% after I get hit with a ruination. So that was amazing. <clears throat> we're now gonna outspeed everything on his team with this scarf, because I am perfectly placed to outspeed everything. Uh, we are locked in to Earthquake right now, so Zapdos does get a free switch in if it wants. Or he can pick something else. Zapdos is the easiest and safest choice, but Zapdos is not that offensive against me. Sure, it did a lot of damage with the Specs Hurricane and took out Shusanku, but without the choice specs, it's not going to hurt too much, and it has to risk missing the Hurricane. <clears throat> so, yeah, here comes Palafin instead. This is also fun. I want to know what you do, so I'm going into Trick Trick. This. If it isn't obvious, is the special request. Let's see what you can do, Palafin! Show me what you can do. There's really... If you are, like... I should be able to tank this hit. If you're physical or special, I'll find out right now. <clears throat> if you set up in front of me, that's also fine. Wave crash! This has got to be banded. Ugh! And it is. For sure. For sure, this is just banded wave crash. Nothing too crazy. Classic, regular choice banded wave crash, but that's fine by me as well. Uh, unfortunately, we're just going to go down here. That did like 75%. There's no way that's not banded. That is banded. Adamant, I think, even. Well, maybe not. I might have just been a high roll. But any, either way, we just discharge here. There's no question. He does go for a wave, wave crash again, which just confirms that he's banded. So, unfortunately, Electrike is not going to do anything. But, it is going to give me the recoil on this Palafin and allow me to go straight into Vodakin and Volt Switch again. That's two of our three walls that we wanted out of the way, unfortunately for me, right? <clears throat> but uh, honestly, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine by me that this is happening. Uh, we, I'm volt switching. I'm volt switching, again. There's not really much. If he goes an Ogre Pond, it's in range of a Terra Blast Ice, so that's fine by me if he does. He does switch Palafin out. I'm fine with this with it being Choice Bandit. I am perfectly fine with that, because it has to lock into something against, like, Dragonite. And here comes the Primeape again. It's going to take yet another Volt Switch and be brought down to half. The good news is, Terra is no faster in this thing. The bad news is, I might have to risk using Stone Edge. <clears throat> but actually, you know what? It's not even that bad. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna go straight to Targaryen. Uh, I'm going to Earthquake again. I want him to be afraid to go into Zapdos, and honestly, I'm fine with Zapdos coming in because it just means I can get to go into Vodakin because it doesn't touch me. Unless he makes the double, of course. 
There just is no switching to Banded Paladin, by the way. Unless you are immune to water. Um, but yeah, Earthquake. Do it! The only reason why, like, I know he's going to be kind of hesitant to go into his Zapdos because we could just hit him with a head smash like we did last time. We're gonna hit the Primate with the Earthquake. It's not quite gonna take him out and he's gonna hit me with a Rage Fist. It's not really gonna do that much though, but that is in range of a, a banded, uh... Jet Punch. That's the bad news. And also, by the way, Vodakin is instantly in range of a banded Jet Punch. It doesn't even matter. If I'm full health, I'm instantly in range of it. Which is actually bad news. But if he goes Jet Punch, I get a free Dragon Dance. That is, that's the truth behind that. And without his Ghost type, I mean, this could be Ghost, but without it, it's, uh... He didn't Terrastalize, so Bill Fox is gonna be Fairy again. That's the bad news, right? Uh, does he let this die, or does he go, like, here's the thing, if he just decides to Rage Fist my Heatran, because I, I would love to do this switch. He has to go, like, him going Zapdos is so easy right now. He does do it, okay, good, thank you. <clears throat> he does go into Zapdos, it's so easy, he knew I was locked into that, so yeah, there we go. Stealth Rock! That's what we do, right? There's no question, yes. Stealth Rock! <clears throat> There's nothing this thing can do to even really hurt me. I mean, without its choice specs. Thunderbolt should do something, I guess, but... He can't stop these stealth rocks from hitting the field. And I want them because I think they put, uh, um... And he can't risk Palafin right now, I don't think. I want them because it puts Delphox in range of an extreme speed, I think. At plus one. It'll be a damage roll. He goes back in Primate. As we get our stealth rocks in the field. Which, this would have been like just a sack. Uh, I'm already in banded jet punch range, so I feel like I should just go tear Gerdo, but at the same time, if they drain punch me, like, I'm already in banded range. Do I stone edge? Just a scarf lock and a stone edge. Force Palafin in. And he jet punches me, and then I have to go Dragonite immediately. That's the bad news, right? Banded Jet Punch is really strong right now against me. It just, it does give me that free Dragon Dance. If he ever locks into it, which is, like, fantastic news. I'm Heavy Duty Boots. That's the bad news about that. On Extreme Speed, I bet an Earthquake probably kills the thing. I am gonna go, I'm gonna go back to Terra If he Drain Punches, I can't, uh... Um... I have to close combat, really, I think. But yeah, he just goes for the Rage Fist, which makes sense to me. Uh, but I was already in banded uh, Jet Punch range, so it's fine. And now he this he lets us die. I'm gonna lock into Stone Edge to make sure... Uh, if I... Well, I guess. Yeah, I'll just lock into Stone Edge. Because... It just means I don't let uh, Zapdos come in. So yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and Stone Edge. And we hit the Stone Edge, it's definitely going to be enough to kill the Primate. <coughs> but then Palafin just comes in, and it has to... I mean, it could Wave Crash, but it's not going to. It has to. Palafin comes in 100% here and uses Jet Punch, which means I get a Dragon Dance up. Now, I don't really know what he does about that. It 
Unless the Delphox is heavy duty boots. Could be. But even if it is. I don't know. I don't know what he does. He can't just jet punch me. He can't do that. Because what happens if I get a Dragon Dance with Remore, which is my win condition? And without Mimikyu, it's gonna have a really hard time. Let me just confirm here. Jet Punch is a damage roll if he's adamant. If he's not adamant, it is still a damage roll, but it's in my favor. To kill, uh... Uh, to kill... My... What the heck am I looking at? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, it's you. To kill my, um... What? Why is this a thing? Why is this happening? How are you still alive? No matter how many times I kill you, you just keep coming back for more! Well, answer me, Brad! Why do I care about you? What do I need Heatran for? My the Delphox, I guess. At the same time, I don't really care. Stone Edge! Kill me, go ahead. I'm gonna miss, but I don't really think this matters. It does now. God's sakes! Tusk. Oh. What is wrong with you? God, now it now it matters. But uh, I still get my dragon dance up. I'm just gonna have to take a goddamn Ivy cudgel. Power up kills me instantly. Why did you miss that? Oh boy. I should have just went Heatran, but it was. It would, wouldn't. Actually, I, I still just go Heatran right now. I do just go Heatran. I should be able to take a hit from this. Doesn't really matter what it does. <clears throat> Body press will do a chunk, truckload of damage to this. Uh, if he's. Well. Low kick will do a lot, but this thing cannot kill me in one hit. And I just... I body press. It will do a lot of damage to this. It will be faster than Remora, but it won't be in extreme speed range, but it will be in range. But plus one hit after that. That's the bad news, though. That's really bad. It's really bad news. <laughs> really bad news. Right? But he has a stomping tantrum. If I, I can lava plume, but... It's not going to do enough, I just have to body press, I think. He does have Stomping Tantrum for me, but it's fine, I can survive it with this. <clears throat> that does a lot. Not enough, but it does a lot. It just means I don't have to lock in Outrage, it's the good news, right, with Remore. So, uh, he can he just ivy cudgels here. I body press. If we didn't miss the stone edge, we would have killed it with. <clears throat> we would have killed it. Now we have to take. We have to take a goddamn hit. We have to take an ivy cudgel with Ramore now and a plus one, and go to plus one. It's still. I don't know. Can Remore crush the rest of his team that he has? No, he can't. No, he can't because he hasn't Terra'd yet. Oh boy. And I can't Dragon Dance, actually, now that I think about it. I can't even Dragon Dance because he just outspeeds me. So I literally just have to just Earthquake and kill him, waste my thing. I just have to Earthquake. I can't even... Well, actually, I should have Dragon Danced. That was a critical hit. No, it wasn't. Why did it hurt? I should have Dragon Danced there, but I don't know... If, I don't think an Extreme Speed kills him, uh, even at plus one, because he resists it. It would have been a roll. 
a role that I'm not willing to risk. Here's the thing, uh, it, it, this is gonna come down to if Pelican. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Oh, wait, let me think. That Stone Edge is. I didn't. I did. I didn't think anything of it at the time, but it, it is. It is big because I didn't think. It, I didn't think anything of it because I didn't realize Trailblazer was happening. This is what I need damage on. Is you. And it is going to be that. So all I have to do is extreme speed. He does terrestrialize, but there's no type that can resist. It's grass, fairy, or uh, well, uh, something else. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter what it is. It just he doesn't resist extreme speed, <clears throat> and he doesn't. He, like this didn't need that at all. That does a lot of damage to the Delphox. He has to one-shot me with a god. This is gonna come down to a damage roll. This is down to a damage roll then, because I just thunderbolt you. Come on, Vodakin! Okay, Vodakin. I'm looking at you right now, Vodakin. I need you to not die. I need you to survive everything. This thing could be Scarf. He already had a Scarf. I wasn't expecting a Scarf. Thunderbolt! Just don't be Scarf. I want, I want, I want the dramatic. Can you survive a bandage jet punch? Because if I take any damage at all, I do not. But I need, I want the dramatics. Give me the dramatics. Do not be Scarf. Vodakin can survive this. Yes. Now, I hate you, Palafin. I literally just kind of hate you. <laughs> I literally just kind of hate you, Palafin. He doesn't know my terror type, though. I'm not grass. I really, really consider being grass but I am not grass. If I was grass, uh, I still think I don't win this. This needs, I need you, I need you to, to I need you to survive. Okay, Vodakin, listen to me. Listen to me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying, Vodakin? You have to survive this attack. It's just a jet punch. Just take it, just take it, just take the hit, and kill him in return. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand me, Vodakin? I really hope so. I need you to take this attack. If we take this attack, we are going to the finals, Vodakin. I'm not telling the audience the chances. I'm telling you. I'm not telling you the chances. I'm telling you that you will survive this attack. There is no question. You will. Look at them screaming at each other. It doesn't matter. You will survive this attack. Do you understand what I'm saying, Godakin? Do you read me? Huh? You are going to understand. You are going to survive. You are going to Thunderbolt, and you're going to do it. Do it now. Take this. Ah. No. I hate you! I hate you, Palafin. I hate your smug little face. I hate your fist. I hate that you have a priority move with 60 base power for no reason whatsoever! <sighs> Just so you know, if he's adamant, which I think he is, there's only like a 13% chance we survive. But it wasn't zero. I hate that thing though, I seriously hate it. I hate its 160 goddamn attack. But that was a pretty good game. <sighs> Let's talk about this team. Okay. 
Sergio, Citrus Berry. I said in the middle of the game the Citrus Berry is so I can take a Ruination and be at 75%, which is out of Jet Punch range, unless he's the Bandit set. I was correct in that he was going to switch to being physical. We are max attack adamant. We have a lot of a of speed. We outspeed everything on his team at plus one, and then the rest in HP and a little spec in, in defense and special defense. I did not run head smash this time because I realized, you know, taking half the damage as recoil puts me in jet punch range, which is not really what I want. Um, an earthquake instead of headlong rush, actually, even though actually I wouldn't have taken a rage fist if I was headlong rush. But, I still don't regret the decision, I didn't want to lower my defenses because I wanted it up in case so I could take a hit from something, like a jet punch or something like that. Um, yeah, rapid spin, get rid of hazards. I kind of thought he was going to try to hazard sack me this time, but he, he just didn't. We did have, we did miss a stone edge like an idiot. Um... It's a 20% chance. It would have been nice if we landed that, because if we landed that, Body Press kills the Ogre Pond in return. Ugh. And then we have a full health Ramore, actually. So, yeah, missing the Stone Edge did... Ugh. Cost us the game a little bit, but I didn't think so at the time. It didn't seem like that big of a deal. It wasn't as obvious. So, I don't feel so bad about it, but it kind of did. Vodakin, he decided to just not bring Lu, Ting Lu, uh, and he was able to just do whatever he wanted. Like a Volt Switch all day long, we're max special attack, we have enough speed to outspeed his entire team. If I was Flame Orb, I would have outsped the Ogre Pond anyway with, uh, with, uh, Quick Feet, but I don't think without the Expert Belt, we kill from 88% with Terra Blast Ice. Uh, because he, although we might, because he was likely adamant, because Ogre Pond can run adamant into my team. I know this, because this is the fifth Ogre Pond I've faced in this goddamn league. Um, five out of eleven games, 45% of them have had an Ogre Pond. It's really annoying, it's getting on my nerves. Ramore with the heavy duty boots. Last time... I got chipped by the rocks and killed in one hit with a Dazzling Gleam, and Ramore was able to do nothing. This time I run Heavy Duty Boots, I have nothing to hit a Klefki if it brings Magnet Rise, I mean I can hit him with extreme speed, but um, it doesn't, it's not going to hurt too much. We are Max Stack Adamant, we have enough speed to outspeed his entire team at plus one. Ramore was my win condition. Debated, debatably, we should have pushed Dragon Dance in front of the Ogre Pawn. It's debatable, but I do think it's a damage roll depending on... It's not something really that I can risk. Although, at the same time, if I if I succeed the risk, I just kind of win. But let me just look at this again, really carefully. I don't really know what he was at, but... Cornerstone Ogre Pawn with absolutely no... Uh, HP investment at all, I do 28 to 33 percent, which I do believe it that's probably in range, but that's no HP investment whatsoever. If he was adamant, he would have about no HP investment because you need the speed to outspeed Great Tusk because it barely outspeeds me. So I probably should have used Dragon Dance, but I don't feel that stupid for not pushing Dragon Dance just because um, if I don't kill with extreme speed, he just wins the game. Heatran with Sugarberry, obviously that was the correct play. Very physically defensive with Lava Plume and Scorching Sands and Body Press. Body Press wasn't really for Ogre Pond. It was mostly for a Cyclozar trying to Rapid Spin. Because uh, the Stealth Rocks I wanted in this game for sure. I am Flash Fire, which means I almost ignore the Delphox. Its only way to hit me is with Focus Blast. Which would, uh, in fairness, it would hurt a lot if it like Nasty Plots or something. But aside from that, all three of his terror types don't touch me, so I really kind of ignore Delphox even without special defense investment, unless, of course, like I said, it runs Focus Blast. Not something really that you would expect, and I do have Scorching Sands to hit it if it doesn't terrestrialize. We have Shusonki with the leftovers. We have max HP, a lot of defense. We are very physically defensive on a lot of guys, really. We have no special defense on anyone. 
No, I mean, our only offensive move is knockoff, but that's not really... On Clefable, it doesn't really count because... Uh, in my head, if something will never break a substitute, it's not an offensive move. So, knockoff is not really. But, walk it off, Moonlight, Thunder Wave, Baton Pass. Did not really get to do this. But we did smack the item off of Zapdos like I wanted. Um, but we had to take a giant Hurricane. Which, by the way, I wish he missed. Obviously. Duh, but... And we were not able to heal up or anything like that. We were very physically defensive, so we weren't really able to take it. We are Magic Guard instead of Unaware, because I didn't think he was really going to try to set up, set up in front of me, and he didn't. Like, this can ignore Mimikyu, this can ignore... It can't really ignore... It's close to being able to ignore Ogre Pond, but because it can run Adamant, it can kill me with Power Whip. With two Power Whips. Uh, or one, if it Swords Dances and I'm not Unaware. That's the annoying thing. Uh, Trike Trike here was Terra Water. It is my other Terra Captain, but I wasn't really going to Terrastize it. Actually, I should have. I could have. Uh, Banded Wave Crash, I could have tanked one. We have max defense and almost max HP, but not quite. Uh, and then Bold Nature, so just max physical defense with Eviolite. But Banded Palafin still hurts me. Still doubles, double hits me. Two shots me is the right thing. But Super Fang is really good for like Ting Lu and Zapdos, putting both of them in out, uh, plus one Outrage range. Super Fang breaks substitutes. Discharge is really nice for paralyzing things if I don't feel like pushing Thunder Wave, and then a slow U-turn. So honestly, this is not that bad. And let me tell you this: it has, it's a little bit less offensive than Suicune, but it's actually with Eviolite, it's a little bit bulkier kind of and it's also a terror captain and and uh although suicune can run an item most of the time i have to run a defensive item for suicune to be able to do its thing because encore is a tm in scarlet and violet and everything gets encore a lot of things and ogre pond gets encore so i couldn't really bring suicune to a lot of games because ogre pond just turns it off every single time but that's going to be the team. Unfortunately, we're not going to win that game. Uh, it did kind of have a few things that didn't go my way. But I, it's not as devastating as, say, missing a Ceaseless Edge. It didn't feel as devastating as that. And if you follow my channel, then you have... You know that unfortunate play. Missing a Ceaseless Edge. But... It was still good, so good game to Scorpion. Um, no pressure on me for the finals, but uh, uh, that's that's hardly a win. Uh, damn it. Um, I'll have another video out. This is not my last video. I'll have another video out that has me talking about my team and the biggest flaw I found with it. Uh, aside from this... Yeah, you know what? I'll just wait for that video. But the biggest, the, the flaws I found with it and what I liked about it. And also, it will the video will reveal where I hid all my little Easter eggs in all my videos as well. So I'm not quite done, but uh, this video is done. So thank you for watching, listening. Uh, falling short. Too bad for me. But I'll see you in the next one. Smell you later.